Hi Nail Fam, I hope that you are doing well. I do have some new products to share with you guys. So this brand, I believe the name is Didier Lab. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. They were kind enough to ask to send me a few products to try out. And so I seem to have five products here. Two of them seem to be some gel polishes. This one says premium gel liquid. Wasn't quite sure what this one was initially. And then we have a fiber base gel as well as a top coat. So we have everything to do a full set of nails. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox all of these products and then we're going to do some quick swatches. Now I follow them um, on Instagram. Yes, I do. I've been following them for a while and these were th this brand was actually on my wish list to try out. Anyway, so here's the first product here and I did show the back so that you're able to look at the ingredients in case there's any ingredients that you may have any, you know, uh, allergies to. So that first one was the ice cappuccino, which 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 was a lovely like brownie shimmery kind of color. This one is definitely a little bit more on the glittery side. Beautiful colors and they complement each other really nicely. Now let's get into this liquid one because the packaging is different from the first two. And I like the packaging as well. It's very modern, very chic, very subtle. Um, the ingredients to the back of there as well. And this one is called um, liquid. So we're gonna get into the swatches very shortly. Now let's move on to our fiber base gel. Again, this packaging is a little bit different. It's like a silver packaging going on there. Vitamin E and calcium. You would definitely use a fiber base gel to strengthen your natural nails, especially if you have very thin nails like myself. But I'm going to be applying nail tips to my nails for this tutorial and I'll still be using it as well. And it was actually really nice to have applied this on to the nails. We're going to get into that very shortly. Here's the last product here and this is their top coat giving you a glimpse of the box so that you can see the ingredients there as well. I really like how sophisticated the packaging is, all right? Now, I have my little swatch sticks here. There's only three swatch sticks here because we're only gonna be swatching the two colors and that pink milky liquid. The other is the base and top coat, so you'll get to see the consistency of those once I do my nail design. Now this is my first time using this brand and I can tell you it is absolutely an amazing quality. The gel polish is going on really smoothly onto the swatch stick and look at how stunning that color is. Definitely two coats will get the job done beautifully. I love that color and I don't think I have anything like it. So here's that glittery, shimmery one going on here. Oh, these colors are just absolutely delicious. I feel like I need to order Starbucks right now. And again, applying onto the swatch stick very nicely. I love the size of the brush as well. It's not so skinny. It's wide enough that it can actually cover at least 80% of the nail with one stroke. Look at that gorgeous color. And no texture, guys. The glitter in this is laying down really flat onto the snail. So stunning colors. So this is, this is the one I was curious about because when I pulled it out, it was definitely giving me builder in a bottle vibes. But it, it, it wasn't, when I apply this, it applies like gel polish. A thicker gel polish that self levels. So uh, this consistency is absolutely perfect because it doesn't move unless you move it. So it won't flood your cuticles. It was the perfect milky consistency, perfect nude nail. I absolutely love, love this particular product. Love the consistency of this, all right? So once I'm done applying the products to the swatch sticks, I give them a full cure under my UV lamp for 60 seconds. And here's how they are looking so far. Absolutely stunning colors. Look at how they blend so nicely together. All right, so I am curious to test out the super top coat. I keep saying super top coat, but it's just a top coat. Um, and I'm just going to apply this on to the swatch sticks and then I will give it another cure for 60 seconds under the UV lamp. But we're going to move on to my nails. Off camera, I did apply my 3XL squares and now I'm going to go ahead and apply this fiber base gel.
this product top class absolutely amazing product highly recommend this product this premium milk gel I'm now going to apply this on top of that fiber base gel because it's gonna act as my nude base color to this nail design. Now I am going to be doing an ombre onto this nail before I get into the croc print as you might have seen from the uh, thumbnail. So I'm going to take that iced cappuccino and we're just going to use this to ombre this particular nail and then give it a cure under the UV lamp. Now, after I've cured the iced cappuccino, I'm now gonna go in with a second layer of that pink milky liquid gel onto my nail, just from the base area down to like halfway through the nail, just to make sure I build up the opacity of this pink color. And then we're gonna cure this under the UV lamp again for 60 seconds. To do my crop print, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my regular base gel and apply it all over my nail and then I'm going to take my white gel liner and we're just going to draw some lines on the tip of the nail going up halfway up the nail. Here is how that nail is looking once it is fully cured under the UV lamp. Absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm gonna finish this nail off by applying the top coat from Didier Lab all over the nail and then giving it a final cure for 60 seconds. All right, so now let's move on to the rest of the nails. Again, we are gonna go in with that fiber base gel over all of the nails, making sure to cover the entire nail from base to the free edge, and then curing all the nails under my UV lamp for 60 seconds. Once I have all of the nails cured, we can now move on to applying that pink milky liquid gel. So now that I have my pink base onto the nails, now I can move on to the other nails. And for the index, the middle, and the pinky finger, we're gonna go in with the shimmer gel polish. Um, on the thumb, we use the ice cappuccino, and I'll also be using the ice cappuccino um, nail design onto the ring finger. But for the other fingers, we're just gonna go in with this shimmery color. And again, we are doing an ombre.
all right the sun came out and it it was so spanking bright that i had to close the curtain so if you the the lighting kind of fluctuated just a little bit so now let's go ahead and apply the second layer of that pink milky liquid onto the base of the nails and then we will move on to doing our crock print onto our ring finger All right, so you saw me hold my hand upside down. Like I said, I do that to help with the self-leveling of that particular product. So off camera, because my phone started to die, I did do the crock print on my ring finger. And then I have some bling here and I added that on to the rest of my fingers. And here's how they look. I do apologize, I wasn't able to get that on to camera. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick and easy nail tutorial and I will see you in the next video.